My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be reviewing snap-on screwdrivers with the Harbor Freight Icon. They uh, look nearly identical. Let's take a closer look and see if they really are. So a little bit of background before we get started. I sent in the snap-on screwdrivers for warranty repair, and these are the new ones they sent me. Uh, here I've got an old pry bar from Snap-on, uh, orange handled pry bar, and uh, this is exactly what the screwdrivers look like. They have this old style handle. Uh, the new ones that came in under warranty are this newer uh, three-sided handle uh, in red. And I believe they have a couple different color iterations of these. But recently at Harbor Freight, I found these Icon screwdrivers that look very similar, three-sided, say Icon, compare, you know, their price compares to Snap-on. A Snap-on for a set like this is like two, three hundred bucks. This uh, set from Icon was fifty dollars. So, um, one thing uh, in use I've noticed both of these have is they both have magnetic tips. So they uh, will pick up screws um, with magnetic tips. I'm not a big mag big fan of magnetic tips. What they do is it leads to, uh, it collects little pieces of metal and uh, just cause little issues. Um, you get the metal in there and it's hard to get the screw in. Um, but to each their own, you can demagnetize these, I believe. Both the Snap-on and the Icon have a place on the, the shaft, on the shank, where you can put a wrench and get extra leverage. Um, the Snap-on is a little bit larger right there. Um, so probably less likely to strip. And as far as uh, the finishes and the qualities, uh, you know, down here, it's a very sharp edge all the way around. Harbor Freight's a little bit more rounded in all those hexagon corners. Uh, both kind of have the same, same coating on the tip here. Um, but the, again, the, the Snap-on has little ridges in there. And I don't know if that's a patent pending thing. I don't even know if Harbor Freight's allowed to do that. Um, but they also have these little little ridges in there that uh, help uh, give you some extra grip. And I can see even after a short period of use, the Harbor Freight tip has already started to wear, whereas the Snap-on's had much, much longer use and it's got less wear in the tip. So um, you, are, you are close to the same. Uh, they do look similar, um, but, but they are not 100% um, Snap-on, you know, is it worth it for a homeowner? I think it's a great homeowner screwdriver. I think the Snap-on's a very expensive screwdriver. If you're really turning wrenches a lot, um, Snap-on's a good place to go. I love the feel of my Snap-on ones, and that's part of the reason I was okay getting this uh, full set of the Icon. I don't have a full set of these uh, Snap-on, so now I've got a full set, large to small, a really nice uh, carrying tray, um, and I really like that in the, in the Harbor Freight Icon. This barely fits in my Craftsman toolbox. Uh, the top of the lid kind of scrapes against the top. So it's uh, not ideal, um, but it's a uh, great organization and it's better than them all rolling around empty. So uh, here we just uh, take a look at the plus two. Well, I guess we should look at the ends here. So the ends, we also have a, a plus sign um, on the back there. Uh, on the Snap-on it says USA, Harbor Freight, it's just a, a basically a plus sign. The Snap-on's really kind of a nice Phillips head type logo. Um, just a, a different look and a different feel. So let's take a look at the short screwdrivers. Um, you know, they're, they're different. Uh, you know, basically, you know, this one, the icon is a very narrow one, kind of the same size. You know, the next size up, the, the tips are very similar in shape, but it's quite a bit di different, a little bit bigger um, screwdriver. So, um, Again, the finishes are just, you can just see the quality difference. They look, you know, if you didn't have them side by side, and, and you know, I looked at this icon one day, and the next day I was in somebody's shop and looked at the Snap-on, I would say they're identical tools. But looking at them side by side in person, uh, the, the finish is just not the same. You know, the chrome, the finish on it is just looks, looks cheaper than the Snap-on. The Snap-on looks like a higher quality, and, uh, the Snap-on has seen somewhere a um, little bit of scoring and scratching on the tip. I haven't used the, the flat heads as much in this set, so I don't have a good comparison there. 
But it's just, you know, it's interesting, these little tips, and you know, they're not even straight. Like the little little coating on there, it's not even straight on the end, whereas a snap-on is, is just perfect, you know. What else we got? We got a stubby, Icon stubby. Um, ah, this is not a stubby. <laughs> and actually, this, my wife told me, she's like, I love this little screwdriver. She's like, it fits perfect in my hand. This is an awesome stubby. Uh, has little dimples in it. Uh, gives you a little different added grips on here. Really, really great stubby. When you need a stubby, you need a stubby. And, you know, the icon is a, an inch longer. <laughs> it's not even, not even competitive. Um, and, and the grip, um, really, you know, snap on, you can see that they, they changed up their grip for the stubby. So you had that extra grip, really kind of a unique grip on this. Um, total game changer on the, on the snap on. I, I'm not a big fan of snap on in the price. The price is super ridiculous expensive. I can never justify it. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, um, these were hand-me-down tools. I warranted them and that's how I ended up with a set of new ones. I love them enough that it's tempting to, to buy some snap-on stuff, but then I look at the price and I'm immediately turned away. So as a, you know, I, I use my tools a fair amount, um, but I'm still just a, basically a DIYer homeowner, use them for business occasionally. Um, you know, I work on my work truck and all this stuff, but I still don't, you know, if I were turning wrenches daily, it would still be a hard decision for me. But uh, definitely in my situation, it's hard to justify the price. Um, the Snap-ons do have a little logo on them that says, uh, no hammering, wear your safety glasses, and it says that this is a number two. It says this is a 730 seconds. Um, and they've got their, obviously, their, their part number on there for warranty. Uh, so Snap-on, really, really nice. Again, look at the minus sign. The, the icon just doesn't look great they just slapped a big minus sign on there whereas the snap-on looks like they actually mimicked the, what the flathead looks like <clears throat> what am i going to use day in and day out well i put the icon in my drawer i've been using it frequently i still prefer to grab the snap-on so i kind of tuck them away in a separate drawer so i wouldn't be as tempted to use them um, but these snap-ons have really been and these icons have really been a, a nice to have in the toolbox a nice to have a full set uh sitting in the toolbox and just I'm really going for organization, and that's really the reason I went with these, is I wanted to have an organized drawer, and this gives me that. And uh, if I really needed, I grab the snap-on. But uh, what else should I say? Um, this isn't really an in-depth testing review. We're not going to do a breaking strength or anything crazy like that. Um, again, I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't uh, well, actually look at these even smaller. Icons don't have the uh, the hex on the base there. So look at these bigger ones. They do have a little bit bigger in size, but if you have any questions, leave them down below. I always try to get an answer to the questions um, in the comment section. I really enjoy doing this YouTube thing. It's fun. It's fun to interact with people. It's fun to see people's user experiences, their questions, their comments, their feedback. Um, would I recommend this to people over a $30 set, $50 set? I think it's a great $50 set. Um, $30, you can't get a really good quality screwdriver set for $30. So really, this is kind of your entry level price. I think it's a good entry level set. Compare it to this, if you were to put this in a mechanic stand, I think they would use it. I think that they would start to get frustrated after these tips started to wear out. I just don't think that they're hard enough. They're, the quality and the metal is just not uh, up to that daily use. Uh, and when you're a mechanic, you really need that fine precision. And if you don't, you start slipping and you start messing up bolts and screws and and then life gets uh, very difficult. As a mechanic, it's, it's already difficult with rust and, and corrosion and all that stuff that goes on. Um, so you need really a precision tool. So if your mechanic probably ought to lean towards more of a professional end um, tool, but I think it's a good entry level set for a mechanic or uh, for any homeowner. Well, there's my thoughts on this icon set. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up, like the video, leave any questions or comments, like I said, down below. And uh, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.